guys, it's Have a Star Girl, and today I am driving to work by myself for the very first time. I'm scared. It's kind of far, but um, I have this little thing that like that my dad gave it to me. You can just stick it on the on the car windshield, and it'll tell you like the directions and stuff. Well, my phone will tell me the directions. I get, I gotta go. <laughs> yes, my, yeah. Oh gosh, where's my car? This is, th this is my car. It's not the best looking car in the world, but um, it's my car. I love it, it's a forerunner and it's amazing. It's my car. I it just needs a paint job, man. And a new windshield. That's it. And then it'll be like cute and everything. Just realized these are not my keys. These are not my keys. These are my dad's keys. <sighs> I'm already failing. And I should have known they weren't my keys. Because my keys have a brown one. And it has keys to my apartment in Budapest. I'm sorry if it's tilted. This garage is like automatic, so you, I have to press the button and hop over this imaginary line before it closes. Okay. I'm having way too much fun with this. I need to go to work. I see it's good up so far up. It's hot in here too. Oh, I can put it back on. Never mind. Oh my gosh, that has never happened. Oh, it's, and it's hot. Okay, I like that. I have to. I'm I'm leaving early, so I know I won't be late. I have to be there at 3:15, and it's 2:48. <laughs> this, yeah, this thing back on. Please stay. Okay. Seatbelts. You always wear a seatbelt in a car. Okay. Um, I have to text my parents real quick and tell them I'm leaving because they're not at the house right now, so they don't know. My air conditioning sucks and I need a new motor. Um, but it's okay. I love this car so much. Okay. I also have to, like, my seat is like, wait. No, I'm bringing my seat up where, okay. And I'm off. I will not be putting on music for the purpose of, I do not want to get copyrighted. That's, that's the only reason I'm not putting music on. Ooh, my face is red. It's not because I'm nervous, it's because I'm hot. Extremely hot. It's like a hundred degrees right now. Look, I'm literally just driving through my neighborhood. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's the police. It is the police. I could not have had the best, worst day of my life. Okay, just go the opposite way of the police. Go the opposite way of the police. Opposite way of the police. Do not crash into the police. Well, I know this police. He lives in my neighborhood. So I just need to be careful that he doesn't like arrest me or something. Dude forgot to put his blinker on. Okay, just follow traffic laws and you will be all right. Okay, like I said, it is really, really hot. So, um, my phone overheated and I am now driving in the city. My dad always told me to be careful around lights. Um, and I get why, because people, like, there will be people that do run lights and stuff. But I'm getting to, like, this really busy intersection right now. Coming up to it. Once I pass it, literally, I'm, I'm there. And I won't have to.
to worry about people. It's not that they don't trust me driving, it's that they don't trust the other people around me driving. Because they don't know them. It's valid. It's 100% valid. And I get it right now because I'm super terrified and I literally cannot stop correctly. Just go. My car is a four-wheeler. It's Okay, literally, okay. So the cars that I learned how to drive in, they were like off-road vehicles. So I was no stranger to the curbs when I was learning how to drive. I would run over them and I would be like, eh, okay. Because my vehicle could handle it. Yeah, I learned that. I'm not supposed to do that at all. It doesn't matter if I am in an off-road vehicle or not. The light's green. I understand why my parents don't trust me anymore. I understand. I literally, I literally can't trust myself either. Um, I'm terrified. I can't drive in a straight line. I'm not drunk. I promise. I quadruple promise. I, I'm not even old enough to drink. Um, I would never get in a car drunk, first of all. Unless someone else was driving. Because that would make sense, right? I'm here. Like, I have, like, one street. One street left. It's a busy street. Like, I'm scared. Terrified. Uh, and I need to turn. Okay, we're turning. Like, this is what's going on right now. I am in... I'm driving and I have to hurry. Oh, too late. I gotta go. Uh, oh shoot, I should have parked right there in the shade. It's okay, I'll go around and park right there. I still have like 15 minutes. Sorry, sorry. Oh, I've like pulled out in front of this person. It's okay, the video is not over because I'm also going to record me driving back because I have to drive back at night. Okay, I think I need to go. Okay, so I finished work and my coworker, I just found out like she was new. They, they hired her like two weeks ago, but I found out that she lives kind of near me. So she is so gracious because it's getting dark to let me follow her kind of near where I because we kind of my thing fell my phone oh she was she's kind enough to let me follow her and everyone there is so sweet so kind okay so sweet so kind. Where's my phone? Oh, let me text. Where's my phone? Where did I? Oh, I did not just do that. I did not just do that. I said, "Where's my phone?" I'm recording on my phone. Oh, I'll follow you. I'll follow you. I promise I won't crash into you. <laughs> Anyways, so cute. I so I'm following her right now, and I'm like scared. <laughs> I'm terrified. Absolutely scared. We're going this way. We're going this way. We're going this way, and we're going. Y'all, it's so pretty at night though, because there's I. I would switch the camera around, but I'm absolutely terrified that I will crash this vehicle. Oh, it's 50 here. Okay. Speed, speed, speed. Or, I don't know. So, my dad got me bigger tires. Like, it's like, how do I explain it? I, my car goes, my speedometer is off. My car goes faster than it, it goes five miles faster than my speedometer. So, if I want to go 50, I have to go 45 on my speedometer. I have to get it checked. I have to get it fixed. 
I guess I have to get my speedometer fixed. Don't crash into the back of her car. Just don't crash into the back of her car. Oh, Phil very 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 bad if i crashed into the back of her car okay i'm gonna need y'all to hurry <laughs> she knows i'm a baby driver <laughs> why is that car like stopped there was a piece of board on the ground okay me too me too homie <laughs> please do not drive next to me that scared me okay i need to go faster go faster you are literally going so freaking slow. But the light is red. The light is, the light is red. Okay. This is something I will do when I get nervous. I talk a lot. It's really funny because when I get nervous, like shy nervous, I will stutter. But when I get like excited nervous, I will talk a lot and I won't stutter. Well, maybe I will stutter sometimes, but my words are a lot more clear because I feel like I'm not thinking at all. I'm just hoping that these uh, one of these lights don't turn like red while I'm trying to cross and she leaves me. Is it a gun chain? This car did not. This freaking car cut in front of me. Maybe because I was going slow. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. I'm so sorry. I'm so slow. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm like scared. I'm driving slow. Okay, so long story short, my phone fell to the bottom of my seat. Yeah, I got to my neighborhood um, safely. She drove me all the way back and I found out that she lives like two houses down from me. So that was cool. And I had to check the mail and then my stepmom pulled up. And my phone was like losing storage. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Just a friendly reminder, subscribing is completely free and you can subscribe at any time. I hope to see you guys back here soon. Bye!